It was good to have had a full camp this time. Obviously, get myself fit, ready for the fight. Uh, I'm under no illusions. Listen, Ben Whitaker's an Olympian. Uh, it's a mountain to climb, but at the end of the day, and MD has watched me, he knows I don't roll over, so he's got a tough fight, and he's got a tough night in his hands. Uh, look, I'm here to do it for my family, my kids. Uh, that's why I take these fights. Uh, so it'll be sweeter when I beat them. Uh, and it just it will change my life. So yeah, I'm ready. I'm fit. It's a uh, it's a different Jordan Grant. I'm down at my own weight. So yeah, no. Listen, I'm ready for a war. So let's go. You'll have no doubt seen lots of Benzo. He's skillful. Yep. Um, do you feel like you have what's needed in order to get your hand raised? Listen, he's if you're an Olympian and you're getting medals, you're you're right up there in the boxing world. As I say, I'm under no illusions. Uh, aye, it's a, it's a tough task, but. Listen, I'm game, and listen, I'll come fighting. Uh, aye, look, I'm, I wouldn't have took it if I wasn't confident, so aye, I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure Ben will say that no stone has been left unturned in camp, but deep down, do you feel like you're being slightly underestimated? Yeah, yeah, just a bit, and I've got a wee bit to touch on. He, he said on the uh, Instagram post he was going to put me in a body bag, uh, which, which I don't think it's very respectful. I know, know where you're kind of your level, do you know what I mean? You don't say things like that, especially with somebody with a family and kids. Uh, so, do you know what? No, I'm looking forward to it. It's a wee bit, of, wee bit of needle in it for me, so it'll be good when I beat him. How do you win? How do you take him off his game? Well, listen, we'll just deal with our, with our game plan. No give it too much away. Ben, good to have you back. Uh, last time we saw you was on the AJ Usyk 2 undercard. Um, you picked up a, a niggle, an injury, you've been out since, but how's the shoulder? Firstly, which camera door looking to tell you I'm back? That one there? Yeah, man, the surgeon's back. It's that day you'll see a performance. And uh, I didn't really get what he was saying, all that Scottish talk. I don't understand it, man, so we'll see Saturday. Injury free? Injury free, baby. People are still drooling Respect. over the... Um... Hey, don't talk when I'm talking. <laughs> People are still drooling over your, your debut in Bournemouth. Um, this time you're back on relatively home, so Wolves is, is just down the road. Um, does that add an extra edge to this, finally, after however long you get to, to box in front of your own fans? Yeah, 100%. Um, a lot of people want to see me live in the flesh. When I was on the Olympic team, was always flying around the world. I said to them, if they want to come out to Russia next week, they can. But sadly, they couldn't. So this is the first time local people can see me perform. And I'm excited. Now, I don't want to call it flash. But when people look at Benzo, they, they see, oh, there's a lot to see. They see music, they see fashion, an unapologetic attitude. Um, all of which will come with a lot of pressure. But I feel like you relish in it. Yeah, sadly, they call it flash because they can't do it. And uh, Saturday, you'll see more flash more performances, and you'll see why I'm special. Domestically, uh, light heavyweight is probably the most fiercely competitive division in the country. You're still a novice pro, um, but how soon would you like to be mixing it with, with some of the big names? Yeah, I know my potential. My coach knows my potential. Sugar and Joby, they know what I can do, and I've been showing it in the gym. But this game's about performing, having the right fights at the right time, and taking your time. So you'll see when the time's right. Jordan stands in your way Saturday night. Uh, how much do you know about him and what happens on Saturday night? He's called the game. It's a good job I play my PlayStation and I'll just cancel him Saturday. Ben, uh, Ben is obviously a, a future star. Um, what is the roadmap? What is the plans for him past Saturday night? Yeah, first off, fair play. Jordan Grant taking this fight. Um, went the distance with Aaron McKenna, which I think shows where Ben Whitaker's at. Um, Jordan, Jordan, an experienced fighter. Look, for us, it's like having a new signing. Benza was a huge part of our plans. He's a central figure for, for Boxer and for Sky Sports. And so it feels special. It feels like a new signing. It, um, Bournemouth was, was one of the most ridiculous debuts I think we've ever seen in British boxing. I truly believe that he's a, he's a future box office star here. And um, he's itching to be headlining, even now. He's, in, his, in his third fight, he, he wants to be headlining these shows. He doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to be on undercards. He knows, he's, he knows where he's going. And um, yeah, excited to do it in Birmingham. 
I think he's going to be a huge star in the Midlands, and we need a huge star in the Midlands. And um, yeah, massive, massive future. Next, we have a, a historic fight. The first time that the British women's title will ever be fought for. Uh, Kirsty, I will come to you first. Um, what does it mean? You know, you get to fight for a British title and it's, it's never existed before. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. It's just another 10 round fight to me. I mean, I've, I've trained hard for it, you know. Um, I just want to make sure that I stay here and on this platform and get the win on Saturday. You're up against a, a ridiculously highly uh, decorated amateur, um, Olympian, one gold everywhere. But where there's a will, there's a way. You're always ambitious. You're always going to fights, trying to win them. How do you beat Lauren Price? I mean, yeah, she's achieved a lot, but come on, I've achieved a lot as well. You know, um, from where I've come from, we've achieved a lot in, for BCB as well. So, you know, she's got to fight me. She's got to come in there on Saturday and fight me. She's fighting me for 10 rounds. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm going to give it her and get the win. The one thing you do have over her is experience as a pro. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that is going to make a difference on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, she ain't done the 10 rounds before. Um, obviously, she's fought all, all the girls that I've fought in a professional career. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's going to be a schooled amateur. She's going to be good. She's going to be fast. But as I keep saying, like, I'm, I'm here to win, and this is my last chance at this. And I just want to get that win on Saturday, and I'll give everything I can. You'll have watched her closely. Have you, have you seen much that you can take advantage of? Um, I don't want to give too much away, you know, but we've been working on some certain things, but I train two, three times a day with teaching and everything else, so I'm just going to carry on as I've, as I've always done, and that's it. Like, I don't want to keep changing things or whatever else, but, you know, on my last fight, I didn't get the win, but, you know, I'm not going to run forward and start getting my head popped off. You know, like, well, she might think I'm going to do that, but it's just another fight, you know. I'm here to win, and that, that's it. Like, my mentality is... Come by the sixth, this is, this is me, and I'm going to bring that British title home to the kids at Beacon Academy, man. And, you know, I just want to inspire them to become the best version of themselves. Lauren, you've won pretty much everything there is to be won. Um, on Saturday night, you get the chance to be the first woman to hold the British title. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's a very proud moment, you know, for myself and Kirsty to be uh, the first two, you know, boxing for the British title. It's a beautiful looking belt as well. And um, it's great just to add more history to my name. You have a knack already for creating history. Um, and you seem like one of those people that can pick up absolutely anything and take it to a world level, whether it's football, taekwondo, boxing, it doesn't really matter. Um, do you go into the ring with that mentality that you were just the best in there? Yeah, you know, obviously I live the life, you know, I'm in Sheffield all the time. Um, and yeah, obviously, Whatever sport I've done previous over the past, I've always given 100% and come out on top. Um, I've had a great camp this camp, and I'm looking to just perform on Saturday, and I'm sure, I, well, I believe in myself, and I'll come out victorious. You're bedding into the pro game excellently. Do you feel like every camp is getting better, getting smoother, and you're growing into, into a pro rather than an amateur? Yeah, 100%. Obviously, it's going to take time, because I was an amateur for so long. But each fight, you know, um, seeing little improvements, little step-ups, and obviously opponents as well. I've got a great team behind me with uh, Rob McCracken and the uh, GB coaches. There's people who I trust, who I work with every day. And, um, yeah, like I said, obviously, just keep learning, keep moving, and climbing the ladder. Saturday night, you have Kirsty in your way. I'm guessing you'll know her pretty well by now. What kind of fight are you expecting? Yeah, obviously, um, I know she's game, she's tough. Um, she's a pressure fighter, but like I said, I believe I'm a level above, and I believe obviously um, I put a box like the way I can box, and uh, I'll come out victorious on Saturday. Ben, uh, another history-making moment for women's boxing on Saturday night. Um, you're doing big things for women's boxing. Yeah, it's huge. I think credit to the sport, credit to the board, credit to all the promoters that have invested in women's boxing. The first all-female night in October last year and just so many milestones that women's boxing is achieving right now. But to actually have the depth and the amount of competition in the sport, in women's boxing, to even be putting on British towels, I think, is incredible. And, um, yeah, the whole sport, the board, but it's very, very fitting that Lauren Price 
our most decorated amateur in, in, in history, really, gets to be the one that fights for the first one. And Kirsty Bamington in her own town as well deserves a lot of credit. And she's going to bring absolutely everything to this. And that's where I think we're going to see the, the very best Lauren Price as well. It's a, it's a great fight and um, it's a great title and it's a great moment for British boxing. Finally, we have our headline fight. Joshua Boakti takes on Pavel Stepien. Pavel, welcome to the UK. Uh, I believe you've got a trans translator somewhere. Uh, this is the first time you'll have fought outside of Poland. Uh, how do you feel that you'll deal with the pressure? Witam wszystkich bardzo serdecznie. Czuję się dobrze. Dziękuję, że mogę walczyć na tak dużej gali. Jest to dla mnie wielkie wyróżnienie. I czekam na sobotnią noc. Good afternoon and thank you to Boxer and Sky Sports for having me on this big show. I feel very good and happy to be here, and this is the height of my career, and even more happy that I'm on the main event. How much do you know of Joshua Buatzi? What do you see his strengths and weaknesses being going into this fight? Oglądałem wiele walk Joshua Buatziego, także jest to bardzo dobry bokser. Natomiast nie chciałbym to się wypowiadać o jego dobrych czy złych stronach. Wszystko okaże się w sobotnią noc. I cieszę się, że będę mógł z nim rywalizować w walce wieczoru. Joshua Boazzi is a very good fighter. I have watched and studied his fights and I am happy that I can step in the ring with him on Saturday night and test my skills. Joshua, Saturday marks the beginning of the next phase of your career. Um, but Pavel is unbeaten, he's stubborn and he'll be dangerous. How do you ensure that things go smoothly on Saturday? Um, firstly, thank you everyone for showing up. Good afternoon to all. Um, very humble to be on this card, man. There's, there's great talents. Um, the guys that came before us and all of us on this table. Um, very humble to be on this card, man. Um, yeah, I'm happy to be back, most importantly. We've um, got Pavel, a, a good competitor. Um, I think he asked me how do I think I'll handle him. Um, I'm here to win. There's, there's no other language. There's no other thinking process. There's no other thought. Um, the aim here is to win and, and to look good doing it. You've been out the ring for 12 months. Uh, some fighters don't believe in ring rust, some do. Do you think that the time out of the ring will change anything? The results remain the same. Um, whether I had a year, 10 years, however, however time I had off, the result remains the same, the goal remains the same. So it's not in my thinking process. You and Virgil will have no doubt had a look uh, at Pavel and, and devised the game plan to beat him. What does he do well? He's a good boxer, representing his, his country, um, which I must give credit to. Polish people are tough, you know, they're, um, they're strong, they're competitive. Boxed a few of them in the amateurs. Um, a strong nation, so I'm sure he's, he, he'll be strong and tough. Looking past Saturday night without looking past Saturday night. Hard to do that, man. <laughs> it's hard. But what would your ideal roadmap look like for the rest of 2023? There's, there's no secret about it. You want world honours and you want them on your terms. In an ideal world, what would the future look like? Have something tangible to show. All of us that went to the Olympic Games or even boxers, amateurs, when you come back from a tournament, you've got something tangible to show people to say, look, I won the fight, here it is. In the professional rankings, we won the belt. I want something tangible to say, guys, I kept on talking about boxing, being a world champion, Here's the belt, take a picture of it. Take it to your friend, take a picture, bring it back to me. So the aim is to have something tangible in form of a world title to show people. You're involved in, in one of the most thrilling light heavyweight divisions that there's been for, sure. for some years here domestically. Is it important that everybody eventually fights each other? I know you've done your best and you've, you, you've fought actually some of, some of the main guys, but there are still others out there and still some questions to be answered. Yeah, I think, for me, it's important that when we're in our 40s, I want to be able to say, do you know what? See that guy there, I fought him a few years ago. We had a good scrap. Um, there's, there's a good handful of us. So I think it's imperative we all mix it up. I think the public wants to see it. And like I said, I don't want to be 40 and saying, you know what? We should have fought this guy, that guy, and we didn't make it happen. Um, but all from the same country, let's, let's, you know, let's make something of it. It's always respectful with you, but do you have any final messages for Pavel? or for the rest of the light heavyweight division? It's the same. Everyone is outside the ring. I'm going to be cool, calm. I'll speak nicely. Um, but when the bell goes, it's a different, um, 
different look and everything's on the line, everything's at stake. Smaller gloves, the lighter brights. The critics are here as well. Not everyone here is supporting the critics are here. So that all creates the atmosphere and, and you know, the intensity that I want. Ben, you were over the moon when you signed Joshua. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing it's get Saturday out of the way and then onwards and upwards and start looking at world honours. I don't think um, you can look past Saturday. I think Powell's number four in the IBF for a reason. He's worked his way up. He's unbeaten fighter. It's going to be a tough night and he's been preparing for a big fight for a lot longer than Joshua. We signed Josh five, six weeks ago and we yeah. promised to get him out as quickly as possible. Obviously, Powell was preparing for the, for the Callum Smith fight. To be honest, just as a boxing fan, I'm excited to see Joshua Boazzi back in the ring. He's one of the most exciting, devastating fighters that we have in this country. I'm, I can feel the frustration from the lack of activity in the big nights and, and we want to give it to him. And this is Saturday night is the, is the first, hopefully, of many this year. We know the names to come. We know the world titles. We know the big domestic fights as well. But there's a lot of pressure on, on Joshua. 12 months out the ring, it does affect fighters and everyone's looking for a statement performance on Saturday. So... Um, get through Saturday and then, we, and then we, could, we know what's next. But Saturday is a, is a very, very big night for, for Mr. Bawatsi and, and for us as well. All right, that is it from us in Birmingham. Casey Benjamin, Sean McComb, this could be a good fight as well. I'm really, look, yeah. really looking this, forward this to this fight. This kicks off our, uh, our live coverage on Sky Sports on Saturday night. And like you say, we're all very much looking forward to this one. Why so for you? Well, because so, I don't know who's going to win it. So, you know, I look at, I look at the Lauren Price fight. I look at Ben Whitaker, And I look at Joshua Watsi. And even though they're good fights, I, I think I know who's going to win those fights. Where I look at Casey Benjamin, Sean McComb, I don't know who's going to win that fight. I look at Tyler Denny. McCauley McGowan, I don't know who's going to win that fight. So that, that's why I'm really looking forward to those two in particular. You the same, Johnny? Yeah, and rumour has it, this, 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 what you've seen the boys just walk off, they say that's going to be fight of the night. Uh, we saw, uh, we saw glimpses how, how good Casey Benjamin could be against Dalton Smith, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And, Are we going to see more on Saturday? Uh, we've got to. Dalton Smith said he performed low par. So did he say he said he performed low par. So now he's going to get himself back in the mix. Uh, this one here, um, um, Tyler Denny. Uh, Tyler, McGowan. Yeah, and McGowan. I can remember McGowan boxing in Paris. And he should have got the rubber. A contentious decision that was, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, he should have got the rubber. Degree. So he's bitter. You know, he's, and, and he doesn't want to talk about his loss. He wants to talk about his win. So I'm not again, sure he wanted to talk up there today, to be honest. No, nah, he didn't. Very smart, very sharp, very uh, on it. Just Definitely not about simple. Sergio Martinez, anyway. No, nah, exactly. But uh, Tyler Denny, he's, he's underrated. His, his style, he looks so simple. But he's, he's a handful. What are you expecting in this one, Matt? I, don't, yeah, I really don't know. I mean, Tyler Denny's, you know, he's, he's been on a real run there, hasn't he? Boxing undefeated opponents. And he's, 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 he's a workhorse. He'll, he'll grind out a performance. He's home as well. He's got the home crowd behind him too. But McCauley McGowan won't worry about that. I think he'll, he'll like going into the, the Lions' den. Did Tough you, one to pick. Do you like that when Macaulay McGowan was asked about Sergio Martinez and completely shut down <laughs> Dan? Did you like that? I did really, yeah. He's, Can he's, you understand what he's meaning? Well, he's, sort of, it, it's yeah. not about that anymore. It's I'm matter done. of fact, isn't it? It's yeah. like he's down to business. That's done. Let's let's get down to Saturday night. And uh, but it's, you know this is going to be an interesting one. Verbals are going back and forth. What's going on? Yeah. Ben Whitaker again. Taking the stage, it's not about listening. It's not the, the, the fight doesn't start when the bell goes. The fight starts well before then. But these two guys are face to face. You know, he mentioned uh, Grant mentioned a couple of things that Whitaker said on social media. I respect you, but I don't respect for for what you're saying. Uh, and Ben is, is 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 basically saying you're down there and I'm up here. You know, in every level of the game. So uh, and um, and Grant's got to find himself out. This is exactly what Ben Whittaker wants, isn't it? He, he wants that back and forth. Yeah, and I, I would imagine he, he'd like to goad opponents to be super aggressive yeah. and then he can be the, the matador, can he, and just you know, bob and weave and get out of the way. He's a very slick mover. Looking ahead, is one of the issues, do you think, how, how hard is it going to be to, to match him going forward, Ben Whittaker? Well, you know, he... he it's not like some some guys that are of say a similar level might be more scary in terms of they're knocking people out and you know he's not really that type. People might think you know what I could probably get to him, 
you know but then I think once you're in there with him that's a lot easier said than done because he's so elusive he's a lot harder to pin down than it probably looks a special moment on Saturday for these two ladies Lauren Price Kirsty Babington although Kirsty said she's just approaching it like any other fight just another you know 10 rounder as for Lauren, it's a chance, as she said, just to make a bit more history. When you're, when you're a bit of a star like Lauren, uh, or Ben, or whatever, you've got a target on your back, and you've got opponents watching you that you're not even aware of, because you, the, 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 your talent is being able to deal with everybody that's in front of you. Uh, for Kirsty, she, she thinks, you know what, I want to be in her position. So she, she's probably checked Lauren out from a long time, from the amateurs all the way through. So if there's ever a way for her to figure out Lauren to, to, to be her, she's had more time to prepare, to prepare for Lauren than Lauren has for her. And can we just give a bit of a credit as well to, to Kirsty because Kirsty is also a PE teacher as well. So training, being a PE teacher as well, yeah. it's not easy, is it, Johnny? She's a likable PE teacher yeah. because if she gets turned over, <laughs> those don't kids think are going to give her help. Exactly. That's not a bad thing to have, is it? <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Now, these two here, you look at Joshua Batson. Pavel, I think this, I think this fight will show. It's a, it's a, you've got two world-class fighters, and 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 I think it'd be it'd be smarts, it'd be brains, it'd be a chess match. But I think it will tell us so much more than the general public will fig can figure out. How do you think Joshua Watsi is viewing this fight? Do you, do you think he's kind of looking at as marking a new phase in his career, almost like a, a reset for him? 